Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my dad. Walk on. Say, man. Hey, man. We got some. Who something. song was that? Listen, man. No, we ain't for this. We ain't for this. He taking over. We need put some number seven. Look, 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 and running, check it, man. Hey, uh, so rainwater, man. You the you, hey, you the nigga of the city, man. Everybody know you. Trying to be. So, so you know, we we always like to go back, but you know, yo, you. I mean, everybody know you know you and Mo three and the legacy that you guys came with. I hear about Selman done done. I hear about all the stuff that you got going, man. Um, just um, be seeing you on all the blogs and niggas just you know you be talking man i hear a lot of things that you be saying man uh-huh. so um i'm gonna get right on the elephant in the room Go you know me east texas man you had said i'm a east texas hard head right one of my partners told me trio talk say man rain uh man rain try to talk down on east texas what was that about i ain't talk down on them i just uh I just come in on that dude post today. I said, you did all that clap chasing, and I ain't seen nobody from East Texas post that order. So that's why, I, uh, and, and the last four months, they ain't post them. Uh, Cinco. I posted yeah. it, but I mean, you saying yeah, I yeah. posted yeah, because yeah. that's my guy. Yeah, but uh, a, a, a lot of people, they not doing And it. Trill Talk posted me yeah, as well. But, but a lot of people ain't doing no heavy promotion on him now. And so uh, my, way of, my way of saying that is I don't got uh, faith in uh, East Texas rappers because they don't get behind their own rappers. I get it, but a lot of them boys pushing hard, man. Seco man. getting the numbers. See, you do you have an artist that go hard as Seco that's doing the numbers Seco doing right now? Yeah, TikTok artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because because Seco going in right now. I, I like the TikTok song he got, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, all my artists get it from build their foundation. No, so now, no, now, now he got a song with uh uh, uh Kevin Gates. Nah, I, I, I'm not all talking, those I'm not, different that's people. That's not building no foundation. So what's the, what do you explain uh, building a foundation? Dude? Building a foundation when a hurricane come, you still there standing tall. When you dead and gone, you still standing tall. When you in jail, you still stand, standing tall. Foundation is uh if people grow with you, you know okay. what I'm saying. You go help their family. You go help their family buy their first house, and you go still help their family when them lights off. And you go help them family when they start getting kids and, and, and tell them stories how to raise their kids. So, you know, uh, I like storytellers that help people through their days and years and their growth. So, you know, uh, if, if I ever find a rapper that got one song, I probably wouldn't ever touch them because, I, you know, I like, I like artists that's telling stories. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against him. But my, my uh, whole statement was about uh, how East Texas, they don't. And they do got talent out there. I know, I know for a fact they do because I deal with them yeah, as well. Yeah, I used to throw parties out there. I, got I shot, know you I got did. Shot out there. You got yeah. shot at it. Where at in these days? In uh, in Tyler. In Tyler. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you say you they can't got go talent down out there, name a couple of people that you consider as talent out there. Uh, uh they all kind of oh um back in the day you know Chuzu. Okay. Uh uh do uh do uh Duck used to I mean Duke used to rap the boxing you know what I'm saying uh Buddy over there y'all got I forgot his name from Mount Pleasant. Oh, uh, you talking uh, about a uh, row? Yeah, bro. row. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and there's a couple of youngsters out there. But uh, what they do is, you know, they tend to uh, they tend to to get fall in love with other people outside. Still to this day, look, he can go there and, and perform. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. He definitely. But I ain't will. never seen them. Even Cinco P got the hottest song that in, in Tyler history. But I ain't never seen him. Uh, Headline his own show out there still to this day. Yeah, Fair yeah, enough. but but I, he just getting started. Nah, he ain't like he been doing this. But yeah, he been it's about three to six seven months. Nah, maybe, no, but, but he got more he got more views than anybody done came through. He got more views than Webby. Webby just left her. He got more views than I ain't trying to just. He got more views than a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah. But they you know they were repeatedly get the same artists to come, but they don't ever put the bag on their own artists. So why would I have faith in them put the bag on their own artists? I, I get it. Fact, and then half the DJs don't even play their shit in the in the in the, in the, uh, in the club. 
and then they go charge them to perform and open up for other artists. But I don't think you, I, it's hard for me to say, you know, you're a freak of nature when it comes to that because when Mo3 was doing it, everybody didn't do it in Dallas like Mo3 did it. Like so, what? like, far as uh, booking shows here in the city like that. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you talking about East Texas didn't do no, it, but my, Dallas didn't get behind the artists like that and pay them bags here it locally. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get a bag some kind of way. Yeah, you know but they go to other places. And they don't just do it here like that. Yeah, your first show. If, if you not, if, if you if, if you can't, Mo three did it. Yeah. I agree with you. Every every artist that came out of Dallas performed on their first show in a city. If you can't do that, then then you really you just you know, you know you just you ain't here to last. I get it. You know what I saying? get it. So I'm and I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch subjects on you. Um, so I've been seeing on say cheese. I see trap boy, trap boy is uh you know it's a lot of comments coming out of that whole. You know, um, and then you was on there before, so I watched both of them actually because Sean been on here, so I watch his stuff. Um, it, could anybody have uh, managed uh, Mo Three? Because people act like you really like you you was there, but it w it wasn't much you was bringing to the table. Oh no, nah, nobody can handle him. It was two millionaires. Oh, it, nobody can handle him. It was two millionaires before the, before I came in the pitch. I heard you say that, right? He was rap. He was on Def Jam tours and everything. But I came in the picture, but when I came in the picture when it mattered. Okay. I I I, I pressed up his first CD. I went on a road with him. You know. I hear stories. I, I, I went from eight different deals. Watch us turn. They turn us down. We fly back to Dallas with no money. I watch him sign a fucked up deal. Go to jail. You know. I was there the, the whole, the whole run, the whole marathon. Yeah, you know yeah. It was four other people that came a part of us that was bigger managers than me. Yeah, I, I know a couple of them. I don't know all four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and they all couldn't within they they all couldn't uh, stand the storm. Couldn't deal with it. Mm -mm. But where Not, managers are concerned, I know a lot of managers always um, supposed to advise their artists. Right. Whereas to what they do and what not to get into, what to get into and stuff like that. Were you able to advise him? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he listened to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo three would have been crashed out, right up. Yeah, because a lot of times that that's what people are. They kind of blame you and put you in a situation oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, where you nah. didn't take care of him and cover for him like you should for him to be in the get in the state that he's in. Oh no, right I, I can't control. I can't control what girls has to go to. I can control when it come down to music. You know, I can't control. I can't control none of that. You know, once we do our business then and go home, you know, artists is like their privacy. So, you know, I couldn't control like what he did. I can get advice, don't be fucking with this person, don't be fucking with that person. But you know, Mo3 was a level head smart dude. So he wasn't no dummy. So he knew what he, 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 he if, if he felt that that was, that was okay for him, then that's how he felt, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, I could try the music and, uh, and advise on other parts, but you know, uh, People say all kind of shit though, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he took a sh if he if, if an artist take a shit wrong and rain, you as his manager, you supposed to be in the bathroom with him while he taking the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're the person that's still here, so you're the person who's gonna get everything. Yeah, yeah. They have nobody else to talk to or uh, talk about. Yeah, no. Nah, I believe though. I believe though. Uh, when Mo Three died, I think they post everything supposed to fade away. That's mm -hmm. what everybody thought it was gonna fade away. Like, okay, he gone. You know, there ain't no more HSM or Mo3, um, all the, you know, all the records. Okay, he gone. But nah, I'm gonna stand up for him. That was my nigga. Do you, are you still, I mean, as far as his kids, he had three kids, do you still look out and, and deal with them or you don't deal with them? Yeah, uh, Trey Day getting, Trey Day getting a publishing check right now. I made sure I put him featuring Trey Day on the last album. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else, you know, uh, they blessed right now. You know, the CD number three in the world right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, uh, outside, finna go platinum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Less than a year. Broken Love went platinum less than a year. So, yeah. Uh, Had me tripping me out. I'll be like, how, how many How many more albums do you got? How, how much more music do you got for Mo3? A three? lot. I pushed them. I pushed all my artists hard. Are you going to release all of them? Yeah. Yeah, I, I pushed all my artists hard. And... You know, like when I think about it, you know, Trap just uh, he did the song shirt and stuff. Do that? How did that affect you when you hear these beef songs coming back at you? Goofy, I'm gonna clap back every time. You you release you release that song and you release that that CD and you only sold three hundred copies. 
Three hundred. <laughs> you ain't get no billboard. <laughs> where your where your album release part at? <laughs> so there wasn't no wasn't no album release part. <laughs> then you had a nerd say, "Ray, want to know good manners? You need a manager." <laughs> he said that you. Uh, it was said that you tried to manage Trav. Uh, when I got out of jail, you know. Uh, well, he said it. Yo, before I went to jail, you know. Uh, yeah, I was doing business with I was doing business with Trap, uh, but now I don't know managing tip. You know, I ain't never managed nobody till I met Mo Three. You know, okay. I was just booking shows, so you know that's why I was kind of do, dipping and dabbing with Trap. But I was just booking shows though, you know. So you know, I always think about you. I'll be like, man, you know, because you you're a manager. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you're gonna be able to bring the next artist? Uh, out in Dallas to uh, I, I'm not going to try to say get on Mo three level, but just to to get back to equate to the music and the pro the process that you you know you have. I some people say yeah he can do it because I ask everybody yeah I'm just getting started but because I mean, when they but sorry but when you manage Mo three you only manage him right nobody else at that time right uh, uh, except for the artists we got right now number seven and Dunda yeah. right. Yeah. So now, are you looking for another Mo three? Nah, 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 nah. That's done. So nah. you don't think you'll ever find someone else? I'm not a jam like him. What you mean, jam like him? Because he was so talented. Yeah, yeah. Mo th Mo three is a talented brother, but you know, uh, I learned from that situ. I learned from them situations. What did you learn? Uh, I learned to be aggressive from the start. It took us four years to be aggressive. We ain't get no. We, ain't, we didn't do no features. We was anti-social with everybody. We weren't moving around like we supposed to be. In. We were comfortable. So what? From y'all eyes, y'all think that Mo Three was like, you know, in y'all eyes, y'all think. I see people say, "That's good job and this and that, this and that." Nah, sometimes I can't sleep right now because I think we should have been bigger. So I, I've heard a lot of people say that. A lot of people said that he should have been bigger because he's mainly local. They said they said after he passed away, that's when he became global. Nah, you nah. They ain't no Mo Three fans. Mo Three was streaming. Mo Three was streaming two million a week before he died. A lot of people ain't streaming two million a week. Mo Three had a gold a, a, a gold record before he died. Everybody, you know. So those those people just don't know nothing about no Mo Three. They didn't. They they, they weren't following him close uh, enough. Mo Three don't. Uh, Mo Three don't the orders that we went state to state and packed out our own shows. So I, I wouldn't let him perform unless he can perform thirteen songs. I mean, more than ten songs in a row, and then and the crowd go sing every word. That's out of state. Dallas and in, in state, it was fifteen to twenty. I get. It. That's why I say, do you feel any pressure trying to get back to you know the to having artists that's moving in that magnitude? You know, if you did it once, you should be able to do it again. Can yeah. you do it? Can you do it again? Yeah, God, God showed me the formula. I heard somebody said that. They said, yeah, God you know showed me the formula. What's the formula? <laughs> uh, be aggressive. That's it. I come out the gates aggressive now. I ain't sitting back and I ain't trying to, I, I come out the grace of, uh, I, I came out the, uh, the gates aggressive. You know, uh, Dun Dun the hell of an artist. Yeah. People frown their face when I say Dun Dun, Dun Dun might be big, just as big or bigger than Mo3. And I mean it. From the bottom of my heart, because Mo Three didn't get this version of Rainwater at the beginning. I ain't had no plugs. We was we were running around here passing our CDs. Yeah, I remember. I just got I just got two artists signed. I ain't never had no mixtape in their life. They ain't no Dunda ain't never performed in Dallas in no regular eighteen and up club ever. And he got a huge deal. So I, now I know how to be aggressive through the trials and tribulations that me and Mo Three went through. If, yeah. you, if you could go back and change something about the whole situation, other than being aggressive from the beginning, mm -hmm. to change the outcome that had happened, knowing the things that you know now, how could you do that? I would have moved. You would have moved? I heard he was going to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We caught on late, you know, in three, I already had three kids. So, you know, it, it was kind of hard for a person with kids to get up and just move. So, uh, yeah, he was gonna move, so I I I would I would I would have moved early and been networking more. Yeah, you know uh, the uh, Mo three for the first four years were antisocial. You know after the, after after a couple of years, you know he started changing on me. I started looking at him crazy. He started changing. It's like he kind of made me mad about that because he started changing. He's like 
he went from this gangster, then, you know, he's like, started dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we went, he started smiling and dancing, and, you know, like, I'm like, that okay. And so, like, he was more happier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, uh, no, uh, I'm proud of my nigga. Man. man, that's dope. Did you um? So I, I and I don't know if this was new or old, nigga. I heard the other day. I seen you was in uh, Clubhouse, and uh -huh. I think you and Yella had some words. Uh -huh. Um, I, I believe. Am I right? Or was that old? Yeah, old. That's old. Yeah. That wasn't new. Uh -huh. I was thinking. I'm like, man, I know dang well. Somebody threw that out there. I'm like, man, I know this dude ain't still talking. You know, back and forth like that. You know what I mean? Because uh -huh. after you go through, I'm gonna ask you something, right? When you go through something like you done been through, man, is it a, I mean, is there a, a level of change? Do you, do you, I mean, are you, is it anything to where you gonna do different with these new artists to make sure, cause you predict, you, when I say predict, you influence uh -huh. the guys around you. Right. So do you feel like, you know, with everything you've been through, there's gonna be a, a change in the way that you move? I'm aggressive. That's the most important thing. I mean, you be aggressive, and everything will come to you. I see you I, keep saying that aggressive, so you I, feel like I, I gotta be more aggressive. I wasn't aggressive. I wasn't aggressive. I learned now. I wasn't aggressive about the whole situation. And I got, I got, you got to attack. I wasn't attacking. I was sitting back. Y'all passing our CDs, but then we was just sitting back, trying to let everything come to us. Yeah, and that was the wrong thing to do. I should, we should have jumped on. The, we should have came out the gates like. Uh, can't be like uh, Shakur R Richardson, the last race. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. Gotta, he got to come in aggressive, you know what I'm saying? So now I understand uh, uh, number seven got a song with uh, Money Man coming out like, with uh, Babyface Ray. You know, uh, uh, Dun Dun got a, 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 a hot song. He finna go go his first CD with this single with uh, uh, Young Blue. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I learned, though. I learned, I, I learned. We, uh, even with Mo3, uh, we wasn't investing in ourselves. You know, uh, we wouldn't though. You know, I heard that you, if many say you didn't have no paperwork on Mo Three. Yeah, nah, I didn't. And and so, how how difficult was that after his passing for you to keep your business straight? Uh, you know, uh, it's like you can build this you you can build this whole house. You can build up a house from straight bricks, and then somebody come try to take it from you. Yeah. And that's what they've been. Everybody, that's what's been, been everybody been trying to figure out who owned this and who owned that, and you know, man. Typical when somebody passed you know, away. Man, Mo three ain't never did all that. Yeah, I it's know. Like, it's like people want people wonder who owned this and who owned that, and they and they like left they left me out. <laughs> you know I know. Man? I mean, I, I definitely know you was the manager. And I do know. I understand. <laughs> Look, I had to sit back today and think about it. That nigga Bun B Pimp C died. They gave everything. You know, you ain't heard about the UGK with Bun B no more. No. You know what I'm saying? So you know, uh, I just been sitting back watch. I I I I, I, be, I wonder, boy, like I was thinking, like, man, if we had all this support back in the day, we would have been good. We'd been out of here. Yeah, yeah. So he was about. I mean, do you when you you know? Because I heard, I think I heard you the other day say something about the bloggers, man. Or do you do you? How, how do you feel about the blogging that's going on in the Dallas area, man? Everybody, everybody using my nigga name is clickbait. I, I noticed when you we, when we leave here, you go put Mo Three Manager for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what everybody do. You Mo Three Manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know everybody got put up Mo. But then, manager. like when Sean came on or whoever, mm -hmm. I know on my behalf, they you have to ask those questions because those guys was linked to Mo3 as well as far as from me. Who? Uh, uh, Sean Cotton, you know, yeah. doing the interviews and stuff. Yeah. So his name come up because it's like people want to know, yeah. you know, how do you feel or do you feel things could have changed on your behalf with you, with what you had to do with it? And he gave his spiel. I get it, you know. Um, everybody, I mean, you got to realize that's a big artist. It's going to be hard for people not to use him. I hear you say that a lot too. You be like, everybody use, you know, his name and he... How do you feel like they shouldn't? Yeah, you ain't gotta do it all the time. Everybody, you know, Mo three side bitch, Mo three this, Mo three mistress, Mo three this, Mo three this. Man, them people, you know what I'm saying? They just, you know, if they admit it, say some people will put it on there and say, "I was a man before Mo three. No, you wasn't. No, you know what I'm saying? So you know, you know. What's the strangest thing that happened? Like you know, um, how? I mean, in a positive way, not negative, in, in a positive way to where 
you felt like they, that person stepped because I remember when Mo three uh, had died. You said that nobody came and supported him at the wake and all that. You know, at the yeah. you know like they did for uh, Nipsey. Uh, who who did step up? It had to be somebody that stepped up, and you were like, "Man, that's amazing, cat did." Or was it just you by yourself? Yeah, I put everything by myself. Pretty much on your back. Yeah, I put everything. The uh, b b the balloon release, the album release parties, the the CDs, the stand up all night, making sure that we get this footage and this footage and this footage, and stand up trying to remember who he got this beat from. Ain't not nobody. I I really ain't got uh, I ain't really ain't had no help. So little Zach, you know uh, the I DJ, yeah I DJ uh. He kind of helped me though. He he over there, a black youngster now. Okay, so that's it's a D, your DJ. Yeah, yeah but uh, outside of that, nah. I did, uh, what about prophecy and the dudes? They all work together. People that was around, you know. No, they did. They did. I you got, see what I'm saying? I'm got, just trying to get the positive out of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They uh, they prophecy did good with the videos. Uh, because yeah. I see you still work with him. I know when he came on here, that's how I knew yeah. you had signed artists because he said you have to go yeah. through the label to be able to deal with them. Yeah, yeah, probably, uh, probably did his thing. But, uh, but it was it was pretty tough because nobody, what, the people that, that embraced him in the city before this, all these, like this is his favorite rapper right now. Yeah. Uh, he, he said it on the show right after that. I don't know if it was before, but I'm just saying. Now, I've been uh, telling you that before you, before you even died, you know that. But <laughs> I'm just trying to understand when you, um uh when you, the, when you when okay like when he passed away um the people that was in the city that supported him then they they came out right uh you i seen the balloons when you let them go it was a lot oh, of people came. The streets yeah but the radio announcers uh the people who always interviewed him i, I seen all that too before they hey they were scared they were scared, scared, scared i can tell you that yeah they were scared to come why they, you think ain't no ain't, 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 no, ain't no no big time person come to his thing but they were scared something's gonna happen they still scared to play him right now they, it ain't cool. It ain't cool to rep yep. on three publicly. Sure so, ain't. Nah, I see it in the club. Remember, I work in the club, so I know. I yeah. see it in the club. That's why the niggas that's, that's repping that shit making it. So I've mo three. I'm with, with mo three and the stuff I learned from mo three and our lady. I'm gonna make sure his brand and everybody who rep him be bigger than what than than than, than what they was. You know what I'm saying? It's just straight up. You know, uh, I'm gonna make sure that it, I'm gonna make sure that all my power from his cameraman, from his photographer, from the person, the people that made the beats. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure with all my power that you know they they stuck right there with Mo Three. Then they go get they go be they go be bigger than whatever they they go be bigger than everything they ever thought they was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm getting I'm hey. getting I'm getting local oh. people getting checks from they getting checks from labels right now. Okay, did Bobby Billions and you ever straighten things out? No, I ain't got nothing to say to him. So you pretty much that's. Karma coming back around to him right now. You don't think he'll ever be able to make another song big as that one? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nah. Can't see it happening. I can tell, no. Nah. That, that's I dumb. don't see it happening because he not. To be honest with you, I ain't know, I ain't know him until he actually made that song. Yeah, nobody did. And you know me. I'm always around the city. Yeah. I ain't heard that man since like since he made, since he made the wrong that song. move. He should have just, you know, he should have just rolled with the, with the, you know. But he say he didn't know. Mo three, he never personally met him. Yeah, he. I got text me. I got. I got. I can show you where he, he was talking to Mo three. He was a big Mo three fan. Like you know, when big bro, when y'all when y'all out here, y'all out here, I'm out here too. Y'all can, can leak up and appreciate your big bro and you know you big bro that. So you feel like he betray, betrayed him when he did the song with Trap Boy? Uh, that was just his character. You know, I, he I, 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 I don't, I don't see nothing bad about that because, like I said, he was a fan. Just like I said, if, if you like, he can't jump in that beef though, like that. I'm no, saying, I, I, no, don't care. I, I wouldn't want him to jump in that beef. Let me tell you, like, I'm not asking nobody to jump in no beef. I don't even like beef. Fuck beef. I don't even like beef. Don't jump in no beef whatsoever. But you know, it's like, it's like this, though. You know, you know, somebody come buy your, somebody come, you die right now. And she and, and he kill you. He take over your podcast. I'd be a whole ass nigga coming on. You just bless my game. Come do another interview with him. But you can't. Everybody don't look like that though. No, you got you got you got know from their heart. Like people got a good heart. Ain't gonna see it the way you see it. People know what they doing. You right. People know exactly what they doing. You right. Doing. You they know what do. Saying? So you know, at the end of the day, it's like this though. It's like <clears> this. You know exactly what you're doing. Like you know. That man came to my that man came to my partner funeral. But what's wrong with that though? He still showed support. You sat there and said that was his biggest favorite artist. He showed him support to be though. It ain't like he crossing him on the end or didn't to make him get like that though. Yeah, I he's under, showing support. I understand that, but so so like I told him, 
then if you're not a street artist, you're not a street nigga. You know, so so don't betray. Let me tell you this, because you gotta listen to his song. Hello, he talk about his song outside and other songs that he do talk about his people dying. You know what I'm saying? Why you die on me, nigga? Die every day. Uh, outside, you know what I'm saying? Even Moses had to kill one. And all this other stuff. So you know the rules of the game. Mm-hmm. But you try to play. What you try to do is conquer the whole game with one with with, with, with two or three moves. Well, how many people like that in the industry? I understand like that. that. I can't. I can't speak about other people because I don't know them. Well, it's like I can and, tell. And, it's like and, and then listen, I have no problem with him. I'm not mad at him. No, ever because like I said, karma come back around. You know. I can't get mad at him. I understand. I, I see it your way, and I also see it another way, too. I always see both sides of everything, yeah, so yeah, I just yeah. don't know looking like that, though. Yeah, they, yeah. Had a, they had a death in they, in they, in, in they, they uh, camp just camp. recently. Right? Yeah. The dude came on my live. Oh, he went crazy. How you going to put this dude on your live? How you going to do this? Put the live? You just did a song with the nigga laughing at my partner. Wow. Uh, uh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with y'all shit. It's business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. You got to look at it like that, too. Like, I look at it as far like his business. Like, Mo3 was, well, like, say he was the hottest thing around, so who not going to do a song with him? Yeah, I understand you that. Look at I understand why you ain't going to do a song with the other boys. How you know he... Why would you want to? Put like, put like that. Why would you want to do... Why would you want to do a song with them? Yeah. <laughs> why you want to now? <laughs> see? Yeah. I mean, I like I yeah. said, I, I see, I see, yeah. I see no, from both sides, though. Yeah, yeah, you I want... I see from both sides. You want it to for Cloud. Yeah, exactly. You want to say Oak Cliff Business. What person ain't doing it for Cloud? Yeah, but yeah, I don't like the Cloud. Ain't nobody around me, Cloud. <laughs> hey, I, I, like what, I said, what like, person ain't doing I, it, though? Like I said, ain't nobody around me, Cloud. We ain't Cloud Chase. We ain't doing nothing there. We building foundations. Let me ask you this, man. You're, you're a dope manager. Man. Right. You talented as hell. Right. Man, you when you gonna get, you gonna give us the bangers, man? When you gonna put the city back on fire like you know how to? Man, I just, I just get started. I'm, I'm waiting. Hey, I'm telling you, right, waiting. I'm tell you right now. I hear all of his songs before he even put it, get put out. You talking about? Yeah, I hear all of his songs. Talking about done, done in seven Mo, or Mo, Mo three, three seven, all of them. I hear all Who of do you stuff. think you like? You thinking you like seven? I'm gonna say he cool. Done, done next. Who next? I'm trying to think. You know what no, I'm saying? I think done, done and blow for seven. To be honest with you, hmm. I say that. Now y'all like yellow skin. <laughs> yellow skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that yellow skin. They no. ain't got bad rap good. Y'all just mm. they, 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 <laughs> hold on. It's a, it's, a lot, it's a lot of niggas in the industry right now that can't rap. Just blew up. Nah, let me tell you like this. It's a lot of them. Let me tell you like this. Let me tell you like this. Selm, when Selm drop his shit, I think people go lock in with that because they so slow to good music until they start listening. Done like damn. Nah, see, I'm got some bangers. But I'm on this. telling you, Dunno gonna blow first, man. But yeah. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you because everybody that didn't blow now, I didn't tell him and his brother. Everybody yeah. that was gonna blow before they blow, yeah, and they blew up. Yo, nah, I'm say, no, let me tell you like this. Seven, seven drops, seven go impact. I shit. never said he gonna blow up though. I just said Dunno gonna go for him though. What you mean? I think Dunno gonna blow before before uh seven. seven. What you mean blow up though? Like be a be a bigger be a bigger artist. Not, not saying that he's sorry. Not saying them. I'm just saying he'll blow before him. Yeah, uh, Dunno on house or is. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I know that too. You know what I'm saying? So how do you do? De- I mean, how do you pick your artists, Rainwater? I mean, you, you, how do you pick them? I just like realness. I can look in nigga eyes and see how real they are. I like their characters. Cause you know? that's that's the thing I look at, man. Cause I I'm scared of managing, man. I know nah, I can't do it, bro. Then my lad go around. I can't do it, man. You I, you got way more nerve than me, nigga. I can't deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I just feel like a lot of times the artists not gonna be loyal like that. Ain't none of them loyal. You know that already. Nah, my people loyal. All of them. All of them. I, don't, I, I, I could tell the lawyer. I could tell niggas just loyal. My niggas loyal. My niggas appreciate me. That's why I don't get no rapper over 25 years old and I don't like no nigga with no money. Already, man. I know you got to catch that flight, so yeah. I ain't going to hold you up, man. I, um, hey, hey, we're speaking about that dance. I, I hope people people going to say, look, he said he was mad at Motor. Y'all go download that Lil <laughs> Trey. Little Trey video coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, I got yeah, one more man. question about uh, that, uh, that song with uh, with uh, Murray. What was it, Murray? Yeah. That song hard as fuck, boy. You like it? How y'all put that together? Uh, I heard Murray come down here. And so I already had an open verse. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, three made that song for Ride right Way. I kind of, I thought that too. When I heard it, I'm like, that's a Ride right Way type of song. He but named he it, did it. He named it Three Way. Wow. I'm like, that most so hard. And we was calling while he was alive. Like, you know what I'm saying? How hard is, how hard is it for you to deal with that music with Mo being gone like that? And you, he meant so much to you. Uh, I smile because I'm proud of him. 
I was there. I was there for every song. You think some of the songs could have been better? Nine, yeah, yeah, cause three. See, some of the songs that y'all like, like you just said, you like that Murray song. It's cool. I I, I noticed that. Yeah, That's why I asked yeah. you a question. It's cool, but you know, three used to freestyle too much yeah. for me. Yeah. And you'll never know when he freestyling. Like, like, like if he rapping, that's freestyling. Some okay. sometimes, but when he tell when he go in the kitchen, that was the songs he wrote. Those be the hits. So people always say, "Nigga, I, I'm t- I got kids to play blue. I'm, I'm gonna get this out of my chest." People always say, "Uh, uh, you know, he made out beef. None of that beef song we ever perform." Okay. I ain't like that shit. That shit was some bullshit to me. All that beef shit. That shit was some bullshit to me. All the hits was the songs he performed in the kitchen. Well, before you say that, them songs were no bullshit. That. I love them songs, boy. No, I like them in the kitchen. I'm with you I, with I, that. I, I, I love them. I like them, but we never performed them. Yeah. Now yeah, you should have. So, yeah. so, so people be like, you know, he, he, nigga, I heard nigga say, nigga, the first bottom to like that, I heard nigga sit there and say, uh, uh, he ain't had no fans before he died. You a fucking lie. My bad. Well, I ain't <laughs> never, I ain't never, I ain't never charged nobody no $10 for nothing. No CD, no nothing. So you know what I'm saying? The House of Blue, that's two thousand people. We, I can't even get two thousand. The, the the government can't get two thousand people come in one room one day and take a COVID uh, shot. So for well, we can get two thousand people coming in the House of Blue see Mo three perform. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. Ain't nobody in the city of Dallas ever about uh, outside of Post Malone and Eric uh, Eric Badu ever about two thousand people out. That other girl. That's uh, a good, he's Tay, a different Tay, rapper. Tay Money ain't brought 2,000 people out. She had? Nah, that's four, 500 people, 600. But she doing she a looking, thing. She's looking like she's killing it. Yeah, but, but ain't nobody else brought 2,000 people out. Wow. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 yeah, you know, uh, ain't that, more three sold more albums than anybody in the city of Dallas. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, all of them. I'm talking about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's serious about it because yeah, he put that work in. All of them. You go big. You got a big T ass Diamond D right now. I just talked to Diamond D. Ass Diamond D. That's my boy right who there. The number, Shout out Diamond who D. the number one seller that ever came out of city at the state of Texas at his shop? It's gonna be that boy Mo oh, Three. That's why they hated on him. That's why I said that's a big deal to come behind Rain. I don't know, man. Oh no, nah, I know the formula. I know. I, I hear I, you. I, I get sometimes I be in my house. I get chills when I when I see something good. I, I, I like laugh like yeah, bitch. Watch this. You know what I'm saying? So like, like yeah, I got the formula right now. So you know, uh. You know, uh, you know he with us every day. Yeah. Everybody' music done changed, and everybody, you know, everybody he with us every day. That, that, you know what that's I'm saying? realistic. Like, yeah, definitely. That's the way I look at it too. Like for real. No. Yeah. So, um, you know, do you think of what he would want you to put out next when you be putting stuff out? Because you had such a relationship with him. I talked to him. Yeah. And God. I figured that. I talked to him and God. You know. You know he didn't want to put outside out. He said, "For me, fuck that song." Wow. Cause they, cause you know, buddy was trying to charge, charge us on my leg. He said, "Fuck that song." But didn't he give y'all rights to it afterwards? After everything, after the dust settled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he gave her rights, and then, uh, you know, uh, he, he, you know, he still think that blue face is this and that. But you know, ain't no version better than Mo Three. Nah, ain't no version better than Mo Three. I got, I back you hundred percent on that. He came from the soul. Yeah, yeah. That was a you hard. That was a hard song. Yeah. Man. yeah. But, yeah, man, thank you so much, man, for coming on Boss Talk, man. Um, we definitely love you, brother. I, I wanted you to know that. Yeah. We love everybody that's sitting in that seat, man. Exactly. Um, man, hey, man, and and if uh, when you get back, let's let's lock it in again. Oh, I was man. just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. Like get back. please come back for sure. You get your questions together. <laughs> Check I mean, it, man. I'm gonna eat you. Hey, up. Oh, it's been you another great so? segment. <laughs> okay, hey, he love it. He love it. He love to talk. They know I got a lot of questions. They put said none of them. Oh, yeah. Check I know you gotta go. Check yeah, man, you want to miss this flight? Hey, man, I'll take the next one. It's been another great segment. Come on, Boss Talk One Hundred and One.